Hi everybody, this is Tim from Boatshed Drop Brokers and I'm going to take you for uh, a different tour uh, but uh, around the same boat, so this uh, 1990 Moody Eclipse 43 looking lovely in the sun and uh, we'll just talk about the, the ifs, nots and the wherefores etc, um, how she is, how her layout is etc, around the whole boat just to give you an idea. So as you can see we're standing off the port quarter here and we have a Moody 43, we have got all sorts of enhancements and modifications and uh, strengthening features to enable this boat to cross the Atlantic etc, which she has done several times I believe and she's probably been further afield than that so we've got the big radar arch at the back with uh, all sorts of lights search lights on top even a blue police light <laughs> we've got the radar uh, array there we've got uh, solar panels all sorts of things there designed to make life uh, safer and easier to see we've got uh, stereo speakers inset into it looks like we have power plugs etc and uh, on the stern you can see we've got uh, in the in the sugar scoop we've got uh, uh, the companionway ladder coming down to really what is a, a lovely great big swim panel uh, swimming platform there sorry i got my lingo wrong there and um, we have a, a cupboard here which i think is probably an aftermarket affair a window down to the aft cabin here but uh, a really nice big swim platform with also an outboard bracket there too to give you that auxiliary engine possibility should you wish to have an emergency engine standing by there one of the right sort of size and power so let's hop on board uh, i'll go on to the swim pl platform and across which does feel lovely and strong and uh, when we get on board we can see we've got a lovely great big cockpit here Lots Lots of seating for people, big wheel, big fresh looking compass, we've got the uh, the autopilot in front and the throttle down to the right hand side here, plenty of room, plenty of uh, steel to grab hold of here, looking very comfy and of course you can steer from down below as well in that uh, adverse weather. To the left and the right of me we've got these uh, fold down seats which look very comfy, very sturdy as well, so somewhere else to sit, uh, possibly out of the sun or a little bit behind where the helm is sitting on this area here, but very nice and easy to get through this companion way up and over and around past the cockpit lookers on this side or past the, the seating on this side which forms the deck head of the cabin below round to the companion way and forwards to wherever you're going very good indeed so um just looking on the port side of the cockpit you can see we've got two two great big self-tailed winches here same on the starboard side and we've got a good sized halyard winches on the coach roof there with the brakes so uh, looking good for controlling the sails from the cockpit so that may mean that you don't need to go up forwards if you don't want to whether it's calm or in a blow and you can stay in the cockpit and operate the sails which is always a very very nice thing there's the view forwards if i'm the helm uh, standing at the helm i'd say that's probably the view forwards through the uh through the the spray hood there so good view all around and you've got a nice deep and very high spray hood as well so uh, i do view these as a bit of a lifesaver because that that can keep a lot of spray water uh, etc off if you're sailing in a certain direction so could uh, lengthen that time before things like hypothermia set in etc we have uh, strengthening bars across the window for obvious reasons we've got a, a very beefed up companion way door there so the preparations have been done for uh, uh, long-term circumnavigation that kind of thing which i really 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 like and we've got really lovely high guardrails around the uh, cockpit as i've uh, just noticed and there's always something to hang on to as well very good indeed a uh, lovely beefy davit there so if you've got a dinghy that's so where we're going to be getting it in and out and you can see we've got an engine for the dinghy um, that uh, may be supplied with this boat I would need to check uh, but we have a, an outboard stowage there again just by the davit which is uh, really really good news so uh, let's have a look around the upper deck uh, very nice and easy to get out uh, so it's up and over and onto the side deck you can see we've got a garden gate here with uh, provisions for some kind of ladder to fit and there's a view down the starboard side nice wide decks very nice and easy to get along uh, quite reasonably high guard wise as well you, you may notice we've got a center cleat there which i love there's the uh, the length or the the extent of the spray hood there do the few repairs here but i think that there's a bit of life left in this and uh, you can see we've got a lovely long grab rail which goes all the way along the the deck saloon uh, roof which is really good and uh, there's the actual roof of the deck saloon in itself so we've got the uh, hatch port and starboard to light, let light and air ventilation in and out etc and you can see we've got the the main sheet here is on the coach roof here so that's out of the cockpit which means that it's one less thing to worry about at sea and you can see the le the height of the boom there means that you would probably need to be about seven feet tall if you're standing on the cockpit sole in there so uh, banging your head should be a lot more difficult on this boat but you obviously always need to take 
take that into account when you're sailing and when you're doing those uh, jibes, etc., etc. Now you can see we've got uh, hard windows here, which is great. So they're not going to go off in the sun. We don't need to be replacing the the spray hood windows every couple of years. So uh, these should stand up to a little bit of. Um, abuse as uh, as should the windows so we've got two big windows here uh, but you notice that we have got provision here for covers on those for storm covers etc etc so she is prepared for the weather now let's go forwards a little bit and you can see the uh, plethora of uh, of uh, running rigging here some of it uh, looks quite old though you might want to think about replacing that but we have uh, one or two winches on the mast we've got in mast furling which some like some don't but if you're uh, if you're world cruising i should think that that would really add to the convenience on this boat and there's a big forward looking windows to give you a view forwards let's light in and also give you a view forward from the helm down below and a general view when you're sitting having your dinner etc here's the uh, the fore deck or well actually this is a coach roof to the forward accommodation which lends its uh, way towards the fore deck but you can see um, it's a little bit easier to step inside the shrouds and probably safer too because you can grab onto these as you step past rather than going outside of them just a, a six inch step up onto the coach roof here past the two hatches which uh, allow light and ventilation down below as does this one here and then you're onto the uh, the fore deck which as you can see lovely great big foredeck plenty of room for deck chairs for carrying a dinghy or another dinghy or anything else you might wish to transport along with you lovely big hatch here as well for ventilation and light down below nice uh, cupboard there that's an aftermarket affair on the foredeck and, and if we just move forward we can see we've got the uh, the cutter rig here so we've got a, two furlers which is lovely we have a nice seat on the pulpit there and uh, we've got this uh, stainless protection here all over the deck which uh, is probably another great afterthought to protect the deck from the whacking great big chain here big anchor sitting in the bow roller there and as you can see we can control from here too lovely big electric wind fantastic i'll just uh, go forwards and you can see along the length of the boat there we go looking lovely and shiny and white in this sun and we'll go, we'll go back to the cockpit along the port side which is pretty much a mirror image of the starboard side so i'm just coming inside the shrouds there and we'll duck around this bit of uh, we've got uh, running backstays on this boat too there's the coach roof from this angle you can see the uh, the main sheet again and the uh the, the screen and the spray hood there so again on the port side we've got a nice uh, uh, garden gate here and you see we've got two very sturdy guardrails here backed up by strengthening beams here etc all looking great and then it's an easy hop over into the cockpit and we're almost back where we started so what we'll do is we'll go down below and have a look around there as well so here we go so through the uh, the, the very well beefed up uh, companionway doors so they lock up nice and secure wherever you are everything feels beefy on this boat and here's a view down below so this is the view looking forward from the companionway just as you come down and what we'll do is we'll just turn right or to starboard and look inside this door where we find the after cabin so there we go now we have a nice big lobby here somewhere to sit and change your uh, fowlies or clothes or pull your wellies on and off etc cupboard outboard shelves outboard and if i just hop in you can see we have a little uh, ensuite sink there and i'll sit on the seat and there's a nice big bed actually it is a nice big bed and we're not feeling uh, claustrophobic like we do in a lot of aft cabins where this area here is really low there's a uh, decent room under there for somebody to sleep as you can see we've got uh, two opening windows one on the transom and one into the cockpit so light and air coming down here good head height up here and uh, generally speaking uh, a very nice area to be i can see look, we look like we have stowages here stowage aft possibly uh, access to the steering gear there and i'm sure there's more stowage stroke batteries etc underneath the berth there so let me just uh, close the door to the cabin and i'll see if i can show you the engine compartment uh, single-handedly you won't you won't be able to see much of that without light on but uh, that's where the engine is so we have access inside this cabin and it uh, looks like a very useful addition for those uh countries probably where we have a really high ambient temperature so we've got that addition additional cooling fan there which uh, uh, could be a really great addition now coming out of the cabin we step up nice floor and on the starboard side we've got basically a lobby we've got uh, a tv as you can see we've got the great view outside which is what deck saloons are all about lovely high high head height so uh, well over six feet here where i'm standing and you can see we've got cupboards and drawers we've got the electrical isolator we've got all sorts of bits and pieces access to the bills down below here probably some more stories down there to be confirmed and uh, moving forward from there you can see we've got the lower steering position so on the outboard side we've got a big icon unit uh gmd old school gmds by the looks of it we've got uh, 
shelves, etc. We've got the battery charger down here. Nice big helm down here. That's a view forwards from the helm where I'm standing. So that's a view to watch keep while you're down here. And I'll just uh, turn all the way around so you can see that obviously from the stern of the, the, the view aft is more cluttered because of the companionway, etc. But uh, good view all the way around. Starting at the top, got a little hatch here. So ventilation for the helm. Up here, we've got GPS. We've got... Uh, uh, water, I think that's a water level alarm. We've got uh, GPS, sorry, I'll start again. We've got navigation, uh, I'll start again even. A VHF here with a DSC. And looking down here, you can see we've got engine start, stop, warnings and alarms. Uh, we've got uh, uh, an electronic compass, we've got depth, we've got speed over ground, and we've got a compass here, which looks a bit dry to me. Uh, looks like fuel tank content indicator on the right here. We've got a Lawrence and Garmin unit and a forward looking sounder there, just what it says on the tin. And one or two extra little bits and pieces and some electric switches, engine throttle, and a good sized uh, navigation st uh, station there. So if you're going to be navigating with uh, paper charts, uh, you can still do it on there, which I really like. One or two extra uh, gauges down here, a few more switches. Um, pretty good area i would say very nice indeed let's carry on looking forwards now uh, we go down a couple of steps here into the galley area so let's do that nice and easy always something to hang on to and a good width as well so you're not feeling too cramped etc here's the galley it's u-shaped what have we got here we've got a bin locker we've got a double sink unit uh, nestling in here i think we probably have a fridge unit We've got cupboards, we've got uh, more cupboards, we've got a drawer, we've got uh, twin burners, a grill and an oven here. More cupboards up here. Access to the uh, rear of the instrument, pa instrument panel, which I think is really important. And uh, a microwave there and a fridge down below there too. Just looking up here, you can see we've got a uh, heater control, etc, etc. All rather good. And of course, lots of light in here because of the massive windows above us and a uh, little hatch there, which is going to let uh, any cooking fumes out, etc. So a really good workable entrance uh, sorry workable compartment where uh, if we're, we're standing here to looking to the starboard side very nice and easy to take food up there and also bring the the dirty plates back down here etc we have an aircon vent here as well so this boat is fitted with aircon uh, i We'll have to establish if it's functioning or not, but it is there. So uh, if we carry on forward, we can see we've got the compression post here. So we're uh, looks like we're uh, we're build stepped or keel stepped. Sorry. Access to the bills down there, a couple of uh, covers there. And uh, here we've got, through this door, we've got uh, one of the aft cabins, sorry, one of the forward cabins. Nice uh, cupboard and a vanity unit here. We've got a hatch above us, two opening windows on the port side. Shelves and a nice pair of twin beds. And it looks like these probably do make into a double two. There's the aircon unit. And uh, down here, we have actually got really good headroom. So nice cabin all, the, all around and uh, somewhere that uh, I wouldn't be afraid of spending a bit of time in. Really good. So just coming out of there and moving forwards, uh, we'll open the port side door here. And you can see we've got uh, one of the heads here. So this head is aft facing. We have the sink on the port side here, uh, mirrors all over the place. And you can see the shower uh, on the aft bulkhead reflected in the mirror there. Bit of storage underneath, bit of storage outboard there as well. Great compartment, does what it says on the tin and if i just close that door look to the uh, star beside here you can see we've got uh, uh, a flag stowage all sorts of little bits and pieces stored there and here's the forward cabin sort of the pièce de résistance really we have an island berth in here if i just step in and look to the starboard side you can see we've got lots of room we've got a step up to the starboard side and a climb into bed there cupboard shelves tv a couple of opening windows down here as well for more lighting ventilation there's a big hatch up to the uh, the foredeck and uh very similar on the port side, a window, shelf, um, a writing unit, I suppose you'd call it, or a bureau, and another big cupboard there, and a big mirror behind the uh, port side there. If I just open this door open on the starboard side, we've got uh, access to the ensuite, so we have uh, the the forwardmost head so uh, the other head would have been the day head this is the ensuite this head is pointing to us so you'd be sitting here pointing towards the port aft side uh, of the boat or the port quarter lots of storage on the outboard side nice sink unit here and a lovely great big shower unit here actually so uh, yeah really really good and not with any kind of boating compromise and everything should disappear down that uh, plug hole too really good so let's uh, exit this cabin there's the look there's the journey aft past the cabin past the galley and finishing off on the port side of the main saloon you can see we've got a lovely great big u-shaped saloon seat there we've got lots of storage underneath we've got a nice big uh, a nice big saloon table here so lots of people can sit around and of course when you're sitting there you've got the view through the raised deck saloon windows that's what these boats are all about so uh, thanks for watching this has been tim taking you for 
for an extended tour around this 1990 Moody Eclipse. Thanks for watching and have a great day.